Thank you everyone for joining today's software AG web method session. I will be talking about the primary three components that we have been recently working with. The first component is the API portal, followed by the API gateway, and finally the integration server. Let's have a look at the overall landscape of the different products. Initially, there is going to be a DMZ followed by an internal zone. Now let's look at how each and every component is going to be placed in their respective zones. The API portal comes in the internal zone and it is usually paired with a reverse proxy. Reverse proxies can, can be either an Nginx server or an Apache HTTP server. Uh, any of them is possible. However, the API portal doesn't give a direct capability to split it into two zones, and hence you may have to place a reverse proxy in the DMZ. The API gateway, on the other hand, comes in two flavors. One is the standard gateway and the advanced gateway. Usually, the API gateway standard edition is placed in the DMZ, and the advanced is placed in the internal zone. Finally, the integration server is placed in another internal zone or it could stay in its own zone. Now let's have a look at how the traffic enters the different components. On the left hand side you can see that the internet traffic entering the reverse proxy is directly handed over to the API portal which in turn calls any of the backend services through the API gateway. On the other hand traffic entering the API gateway standard is actually protected and is taken into consideration while any threat protection components are activated. Subsequently, you would expect the traffic to just follow into the advanced gateway. However, Software AG Web Methods API gateway works on the principle of a reverse proxy, sorry, a reverse invoke. Uh, the API Gateway Advanced actually does a reverse, reverse invoke onto the API Gateway Standard and it is in a listening mode. Uh, so this actually gives an advanced level of security. Any traffic entering the API Gateway is, is paused at the DMZ and the API Gateway Advanced actually pulls for that request and hands it over to the backend native service. This could be an integration server. This could be another regular API for that matter. So this is the overall traffic flow of the different components in the web methods stack, which comprises of the portal, the gateway and the integration server. Now, if you would look at from a different perspective, another dissection, uh, the API gateway is placed in the DMZ and the advanced API gateway is placed in the internal network. This is just another representation of the previous diagram just for making it easier to understand. The portal is not placed in this design. However, it also follows a similar pattern with the uh, reverse proxy placed in the DMZ and the API portal placed in the internal network. We shall now have a look at the different landing pages of each component. Once you have the API portal installed and up and running, if you were to access the home page of the API portal, this is what you would see. I, I know the default page doesn't look so fancy, but uh, you have uh, quite a lot of control to modify and redesign the default theme. The API gateway, on the other hand, uh, looks a bit more flashier and has uh, lots of controls to actually place your different policies. And uh, this is where you, you tackle your threat protection or spike arrest or any other kind of uh, policies to be applied. That's where the API gateway comes into play. Finally, the integration server uh, is, uh, is always working behind the scenes where you actually build integration flows 
heavy transformations um, integration with uh, your message queues or uh, the messaging component from software ag it's called universal messaging uh, and this is where the integration server comes into play Thank you for joining the session. It was a quick introduction to the different components. In the next video, we'll get into more details on installing and actually interacting with each and every component. Thank you. And for if you'd like to get more videos on the same topic or any other topics, please subscribe to the channel or hit in with some comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you.